We're here with Philip. He's our runner-up today in the Icebreaker Netrunner Tournament. Uh, congratulations. Uh, tell us what you thought of the game and the first time out. Oh, I think it's great. I am really glad to see the game back. It Excellent. was It was very fun originally. And you, so I take it you played the, the first iteration? Yes, I played the original Netrunner. I can't recall if I was playing when it was actually in print or not. But. Okay. And what did you think of that one as compared to this one? Um, there's a... The card pool is a lot smaller in this one because sure. it just it just came out, so that'll get better as, as the expansions go along. So right now there was not a whole lot of options for the deck building. Right. Uh, but it does. I do like how the it's it's been kind of slowed down because all the agendas are there's the agendas are all smaller, so it takes longer to, to score the agendas. Uh, I like say it's mixing it up with some like agendas that you can score in one turn uh, instead of taking the full turn ice that you can advance, all sure. sorts of uh, interesting themes that it'll be nice to see played on in the expansions. Cool. And what did you uh, like? Uh, did you like running? Did you like playing as the corporations? What's your favorite? Uh, you know, on I think this was the same way in the original Netrunner. It, it doesn't matter which side, like whichever side I'm playing, I feel like I'm at a massive disadvantage. Really? So I, well, yeah. I'm, on, I'm on the corp, it's like, ah, the runner can just get through all my stuff, and then I'm on the runner, ah, I can't get through any of this ice. But, what, what kind of builds that feeling up in you, though? Um, well, mostly... It, Is it the uncertainty of, like, the, what they're doing, or...? Well, it's more the... Well, from the corpse side, it's more the certainty. The, uh, he's got uh -huh. all his breakers. I know he can get <laughs> through this. Uh, from the... From the runner side, it's more... Yeah, from the runner side, it is the uncertainty. It's the, yeah. uh, did he... If I spend all my money on this thing and it turns out not to be a, an agenda, then I'm going to lose. But. And are there any uh, factions on the corporation or runner side that you prefer? Um, I I played uh, the Haas Bioroid in mm -hmm. this uh, in this tournament, and I did like them. I liked that they it it felt like all their ice was solid, unlike some of the other uh, factions, and they had pretty good bit gain with the uh, Beefcake campaign guy. Awesome. Um, on the runners, I don't know. I like the Shapers the best, but not that uh, not as big of a. a margin over them. Cool. They, they all seem to be kind of working, doing generic runner stuff, and she <laughs> looked like she was going to do it best. So all that said, uh, is there anything that you're looking forward to see uh, coming out in the future uh, releases? Um, I would like to see more you know, more transactions to go with Wayland's ability, more viruses to go with Noise's ability, uh, more deck search for the runner I'm sort of hoping for. Yeah. Kind of, kind of missing that. Um, trying to remember what other themes there are that are going on. So maybe some more stuff for NBN to do with tags other than uh, closed accounts and scorched earth. Cool. And uh, one last thing, uh, what would you tell anybody who's looking to get in this game or has been watching some of our coverage thus far? Um, it is a good game, uh, <laughs> assuming that you have the availability in, in retail soon, because I know it's sold out here. Sure. So, uh, I would suggest you pick it up. It's a good... I mean, it's a good game. More players, more players playing that runner is good. That's right. Well, thanks so much, man. Congratulations again, and uh, good luck to you in the future. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.